Hey guys, what up? I'm Tim with Tactics, and today we're going to talk about the Sheffield shoe from Lakai. So when I first put on the shoe, it fit my foot really well. I have a wider foot, so most shoes are pretty narrow, but this one was definitely able to accommodate my wide foot. This shoe didn't take any time to break in, really. The foxing tape on the side wasn't too grippy, and the suede had just the right amount of flick, and so I got used to skating it in just a half an hour at the most. Underneath this patch here has some reflective material. I didn't really notice it too much, but sometimes when I was walking around at night, you could just see little hints of light just flashing through. It's kind of a neat little feature, but it doesn't really affect the way it skates at all. Some other nice features about this shoe is it has the elastic tongue bands. I don't know if you can see it right here, but it keeps the tongue nice and nice in place, and you don't have to worry about retying your laces all the time. I like that the laces are high up so you don't break them quite as much. Uh, I did break them eventually but I didn't break these laces till about two and a half weeks in so that was nice not having to just replace them constantly. We got a nice amount of padding right here. It's not too much to make it feel bulky um, and it doesn't rub against your ankle at all. These shoes are holding up really well. I've been skating them for a little over three weeks. The suede um, in the main wear areas is still really intact. It hasn't been bagged out and stretched out. It's still holding its shape. Um, everywhere else is just perfectly fine. The little flare on the side here is just stitched on and it's just coming off. But I do a lot of flip tricks, a lot of heel flips and things like that and uh, that's just that's just normal wear and tear. There's a seam here between where this little reflective patch is and I thought that was gonna just rip open but it hasn't really shown anywhere. It's like the stitching is on the inside and underneath and so it I'm really surprised that it, it held together as well as it did. The sole on these shoes is holding up really well also um, these deep grooves haven't flattened out. I have no flat spots. It's still just as grippy as day one. Um, on the first day that we were filming tricks for this review, um, it started to rain. And even with the wet ground, I was still able to just, you know, stay on my feet. It wasn't slipping around. And I was really pleased with how much just grip I had on the ground and on the grip tape. So in summary, this is just a really durable shoe. Uh, I probably got another three weeks in this one. I mean, this thing's falling off. That's probably the only design flaw. But other than that, this shoe is really solid in the way it just feels on your foot. It's comfortable, it's durable. It's just a really solid shoe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the box below or check them out at tactics.com.